The parents of one of an Israeli-American hostage brought many Democratic National Convention delegates to tears as they recounted 320 days of anguish and pushed for a ceasefire deal to bring their son home. This is a political convention. But needing our only son and all of the cherished hostages home is not a political issue. It is a humanitarian issue, said John Pollan, whose son Hirsch Goldberg Pollan lost part of his left arm and was kidnapped from Israel by militants who attacked the music festival he was attending. Pollan and his wife, Rachel Goldberg Pollan, were greeted with an extended ovation and chants of, bring him home, by the thousands of Democratic delegates in Chicago. There is a surplus of agony on all sides of the tragic conflict in the Middle East, he added. In a competition of pain, there are no winners. Pollan called for a deal that brought all the hostages home, and he also acknowledged the suffering of Palestinian civilians in Gaza. Since Goldberg Pollan was captured, his parents have campaigned ceaselessly for his release. In addition to meeting President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, they have met Pope Francis and traveled to New York and Geneva to speak with United Nations officials. I have asked for the Vice President to call us back and tell us that the suppression of Palestinian Americans does not belong in the Democratic Party and a Palestinian speaker will speak on this stage," Uncommitted National Movement co-founder Abbas Alawi said. I'm waiting for the call. U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez called on convention organizers to make space for a Palestinian speaker. human beings.